Hello and welcome. Do you need a very special prayer uh, during these current economic times? For some, things are tough as prices continue to escalate for household items, for gasoline, for clothing. It's time. It's time that we pray. Now, this is week 29, and this is the prayer closet. All week long, our theme is called now. Why is it now? Well, it's now because um, we're praying for things going on right now in our lives and in this world, as well as we need a right now God. And so we're praying for current events this week. And be sure to come into agreement with me. Our memory verse for the week can be found in Luke 21 and 36. And it says, but stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the son of God. So meditate on that verse all week. Please come into agreement with me and pray with me um, and, and, and hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button, type amen, and share this video. God is a right now God, but he's also a provider. Able to provide more than we could ask or imagine, do beyond what we could ask or imagine. And I'm grateful for that. Let's pray. Glorious Lord Jesus, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that there's nothing we can't talk to you about, Lord. There's no situation. There's no circumstance. Absolutely nothing, Lord. Now, Father, you see the rising prices of everything. And you also see that our financial situations are not going up to match the needs that are constantly coming. But Lord, you promise to supply all of our needs according to your riches in glory and not ours. Now, Father, we are choosing to pray about inflation, about prices, but we will not dwell on it, God. We are doing what the Bible says, which is to cast the care and the burden of these prices over on you. And we are asking you, Lord Jesus, to supply not only our needs, but supply over and above what we need so we can help fill the needs of other people. Lord, we are coming to you, God, asking you, Father, for promotion, for increase, for unexpected income, for more than enough. Because not only do our families need it, but other families need it as well. Lord, we're not going to get caught up in what the news says and what social media says and what people are saying. Nor will we live in fear. Fear is of the devil. You haven't given us that. So we're not going to fear inflation and rising prices. We're not going to fear an impending recession on the horizon, God. We're not going to fear not being able to find the right home for ourselves. And we're not going to fear rising home prices. God, we are women of faith. And so we fight our battles through prayer and your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your word says the rich rule over the poor and the borrowers a slave to the lender. So, God, we are we're not asking you to intervene and help because we want to uh, be so in love with money and we just want to be lavish livers. No, no, no. Because the Bible says in first Timothy for the love of money is a root of all kinds of evils. And so we're not doing this. Because we have such a love of money. We are praying. We are praying so we don't have a deficit every week or every other week or every month. And so for that, we're crying out to you, Lord. 
And so, Father, help us even during this time to be givers, to be sowers, that we'll have no fear in sowing and giving. Because the Bible says in Luke 6, 38, to give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over will be put into your lap. For with the same measure we give, it'll be given back to us. So we won't be in fear. We're moving as women of faith. And so, Father, we are praying against a recession in our household. We're praying for a turnaround in the economies in our home countries. Father, you can do it. We're praying for the unemployed to get work. We're praying for gas prices to start coming down week by week by week. And we're praying for an increase in the income into our household. Bless our hands, Lord. We need it and we need you. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 Well, my sisters, I want to thank you. Thank you for joining me. Please drop some prayer emojis. Type amen. If you are in agreement with me, I am praying from my subscribers. If you are not a subscriber, honey, hit that subscribe button right now. I am praying for my subscribers special this week. All week long for things like this. I know here in the U.S. rising prices on everything is a challenge for people. People can't even afford to rent decent places. We need El Shaddai. We need Jehovah Jireh to come through for many of you. And so I'm praying for my precious subscribers. I'm praying for the women on my email list. I'm praying for your prayer request. And I am asking God, God, come on in. Doesn't have to be a deficit at the end of the month or so close that we can't give and sow and save. I love you all dearly. And if you want more prayers like this, um, I've just put a special link below to a whole playlist of prayers specifically for your finances. I love y'all. Click and listen to some more prayers um, to just help encourage you today, okay? Y'all be blessed.